Well, it's interesting. I, I, I think that um, history has already started to reconsider the UN and the IMF and the World Bank in different ways than it had previously. I think that there's a whole critique of uh, development and of a human rights discourse that supposedly upholds a development, a system of world development, um, that uh, makes clear the ways in which it relates to capitalism. I think that the global economic meltdown um, since 2007-2008 has been an interesting case study in how the logic of the World Bank uh, and the logic of the IMF came back to the supposed keepers of those systems, the United States and Europe, right, um, uh, Western Europe. So I think that uh, um, history is going to see the ways in which um, these policies of austerity uh, that we have, uh, that we, I'm suddenly aligning myself with the <laughs> IMF, that's terrifying, I wish I had their money. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how um, these systems of austerity that used to be the ways in which the World Bank and the IMF set these terrible bargains with the developing and third world, what we call the developing and the third world, um, are now, now part and parcel to the global north. And so we're going to have to try to imagine how to repurpose these institutions um, if they won't be seen historically as um, uh, profoundly exploitative in addition to all of their vested intentions.